What's up everyone? So this is a little update to my Luna seat adaptation. Uh, I used to have this little foam block that just rested right underneath here and sat just like that. And um, it was decent, but ever since I added the Velcro on top to attach to this a little bit firmer, it seems to slide side to side more so. So, took that off and someone on the web, uh, I'll put his name and link below, made this awesome adapter. Basically looks like this. His first version was just a block. So take off the wings and this front part. And it was just this block that rested right here. And then he soon after added this and then he posted the files online and, and also the Tinkercad file, which was really nice. Cause then I was able to tinker that file and add these little wings on the side to mimic the slant of the Sherman shell uh, to further give it some, some side to side support. So after several iterations, this is what I have decided is the final thing. This was the one I was showing earlier, and then I shortly added a little recessed area for the Velcro, which uh, I feel like it helped keep it down and keep it from moving side to side because it was floating on a patch, so a Velcro. So when I recessed that, it helped the sides fully engage to the plastic and uh, and I figured out what was wrong with my print settings. And these are the exact same file, but one is obviously nicer looking than the other. Although one could argue that this looks kind of cool, but I was getting all these weird printing defects, which aren't on this one. You can see the, uh, the Velcro right here. It's attached right there. But uh, when this was sitting on there, it's a uh, square. And as this comes down, it was hitting this and not hitting over here. So uh, exaggerated, it was, it was like this, right? So with this one, I essentially just tilted it forward as you can see there. Here is it flat and then I just tilted it forward so that as the seat comes down, it lines up perfectly with the bottom of that and fully engages instead of hitting the top first. And then as you sit down, it compresses the rest of the way and it made it just a lot more stable. And I also changed up this design to instead of having one point of contact where it can kind of pivot on that point, you can see how this kind of pivots. I decided to do two little strips on the side to have two points of contact separated from each other so that it won't spin. And this thing is not gonna move. It, it is very secure and it is very strong as well. I'm almost scared to pull it off just because it's so strong. So this is a little dusty because I went on a really long dusty mountain ride, but this is the final version. Has these nice recessed areas for the Velcro. It's flexible and that's adjustable. So if you're a heavier rider, I can, or you can print it at a thicker infill to give it a little bit more stiffness. I'm just a lot happier with this model. It works really nice. I'll post these online. You can download them and print them yourself, or if you don't have a printer, you can purchase these from me, and I will sell them with the Velcro pre-installed and everything. So all you have to do is stick it on. I made a lot of design changes since the beginning. Um, you can kind of see that this one is a little bit longer so that you're resting more on the actual shell and not just the top panel out of the slant. And then I also changed this area so that it 
fits a little bit easier. But overall, I just love it. I've been riding seated for a long time. I really like this setup and it works. I hope you guys enjoy it and find it useful and have some very enjoyable rides while seated on the Sherman.